Catamounts of Western Carolina out of the Southern Conference coming in at three and eight. Short kick by Pletz, fielded by Jalen Waddell. World-class speed for number 17 in Crimson. And ushered out of bounds near the 45-yard line. Joseph Bullibus on for the 29-yard field goal attempt. And Bama draws first blood. Kelly Stoffer, Lauren Sisler, Roy Philpott here in Tuscaloosa. Play action for Adams, who flings it. Pass will be caught by the tight end. That's a first down for Western Carolina's Clayton Bardall. And he rumbles. Will fake it to Nate Mullen. With time is Adams, and the pass is going to be intercepted. Xavier McKinney picked it off. Recovers late and makes a spectacular play on the football. He's on the opposite side to begin with. Spencer, the running back, is going to go right down the seam. Initially, McKinney was actually fooled when he was thinking of running to the, to the hash on the left. Last week, upsetting Minnesota. Golden Gophers no longer undefeated. Nifty move by Najee Harris. Stays alive. And he'll pick up another Crimson Tide first down ahead to the 44. Fell wide receivers out there. The spark in this offense a lot of times is Harris. Screen pass, Devontae Smith. Little shake and bake. There he goes. Devontae Smith turns the end zone for another Tide touchdown. From 57 yards out, the 12th touchdown grab of the season for Devontae Smith. The beauty, playing the quarterback position and taking over for the big shoes of Tua. Mac Jones can throw it out to guys like Devontae Smith. He came into the... Enough, about an 18-point favorite in that game at the shoe. Play action, pass is tipped, and it's going to be picked off far side. McKinney again, his second interception, and there he goes. Alabama to the house once again. Shaheen Carter tipped it. McKinney picked it off. Six more points on the board for the tie. Western Carolina was running a run pass option, an RPO, and the difference is Tyree Adams doesn't see this type of recovery out of the linebacking level. And you can see that Shaheen Carter is the safety that was up initially steps up, which is the effect that the RP is supposed to have, but it's the... Can punch their ticket by winning the SEC championship game. Adams gets it back somehow. Lost the football again in the tie. Have recovered. Patrick Sertan, the sophomore cornerback from Florida, jumped on the loose football. This might be one of the most bizarre plays that you will see all year. It's all the window dressing, a couple of fakes by Tyree Adams, and then it was going to be a screen off to his right, batted back into his lap, has some green ahead of him, can potentially convert on the first down, and he gets caught from behind. A lot going on on this play. So Xavier McKinney batted the football back to Adams, then forced the yeah. fumble after all. Pass back to the Western Carolina quarterback. Told he's selling popcorn here at bryant Denny Stadium as well. Jerry Judy wide open, brought down inside the 20. Mac Jones. Greatly. Mechie checks in at wide receiver. Handoff to Robinson towards the pylon. Did he get there? Touchdown for the tie. Fifth touchdown of the season for Brian Robinson, the junior from right here in Tuscaloosa. This is going to be part of what Alabama has to present next week against Auburn, the ability to run the ball when you want to run it, not when it's dictated to you. And The great plays in college football history. Play action for Jones. Finds his target for a first down into Western Carolina territory. A little bit, and thus far, Mac Jones is handling it really well. Play action, unloading, deep looking for Waddle. Corrals it at the 12, and ushered out right there. Well designed by Alabama. Using tempo, Najee Harris near side towards the end zone, across the goal line for the touchdown. 
Well, that was too easy for the tie. Najee Harris, his 10th score of the season. They, I really love those guys, you know, as people, um, the way they did things, the contribution that they made, how they affected other people. Uh, and, you know, two would be one of those four or five guys. Well, no doubt about it. And just like that, Bama strikes again, Jalen Waddell. Alabama has beaten that has a winning record, and that hurts them tremendously. There goes Waddle. Plus territory. Waiting on the convoy. There it is. There he goes. Waddle towards the pylon. And bumped out just short of the goal line. No, they'll say that's a touchdown. Check the feed here, Kelly. The referee that's on the goal line did a great job of communicating with the side judge. I think that play is going to come back to about the one yard line. Indeed it is. The old school Alabama out of the I formation. Robinson. And I think he lost the football. Catamounts come up with it. And the Crimson Tide turn it over. An efficient start. There's three first half touchdown throws. This one's going to be picked off. Tyree Adams picked off by the senior Jared Maiden. Jones back on the field to start our third quarter. Play action and looking for Jerry Judy. There he is. First down Alabama. It'll be first and goal from just inside the five. At least this year. Najee Harris with an alley and another touchdown. And so, Roy, an important point to make. At the mesh point, Adams pulls it out somehow, throws a dangerous pass, and it's picked off. Jared Maiden, the senior. His second interception of the third quarter after heavy pressure from Christian Barmore. Well, we've seen Tyree Adams in this situation multiple stances. Nalu and Diane move to Tuscaloosa after Tua. Signed with the Crimson Tide. Another easy touchdown for Devontae Smith. The screen pass nets 15 and six more. The state can actually jump LSU in the coming weeks with some marquee matchups, including Michigan coming up, and obviously what they do today against the Scout team, and sometimes it gets a little chippy. <laughs> Busting through is Robinson. Keelan Robinson towards the end zone for another Alabama touchdown. From 46 yards out, that'll be the second of the freshman's career. Right now, it is 21-14. Nittany Lions coming back. Julian Pletz here in Tuscaloosa connects. The 38-yard field goal to put Western Carolina on the board. 50 to Bailoa back on the field, replacing Mac Jones, who had an extremely efficient outing. There goes Keelan Robinson into Western Carolina territory. Michael Murphy, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Miss Terry's going to go for that. Jerome Ford towards the pylon for the touchdown. Third of the season for the redshirt freshman from Sefner, Florida. Question is.